Hi, I'm going to show you how to um, answer this particular um, question on ways from the WJC Unit 1. This is um, a foundation tier question. It's um, a pretty simple question. It's question 2 on the um, this particular exam that it was sat on. So it, it's relatively near the beginning of the paper, so it's, it's relatively straightforward. But there are a couple of tips and tricks, and just so you're familiar with what you're going to be doing, uh, I'll show you how you would go through completing something like this. So there, there's lots of letters in this diagram up here, so it, it's easy to be overwhelmed a little bit. So you just need to think clearly um, about what you know and, and then work out the rest of it. So it's asking us how many complete waves can we see. Now, the trick here is to count from beginning to end of each waves. Uh, so when I do that, I get three of those. And then it's asking me to decide which of these letters up here um, corresponds with the amplitude. Now you, you've been taught that the amplitude is the height that the, uh, the maximum displacement of the wave from this middle line here. You might get confused over here with E, but it's not. It's A. It's just this height from the line here. E is actually the volume, which is something we don't need to worry about. So A up there for that one. And then it's asking us to choose some words from the box. Now, it's quite nice. There's lots of words in this box, so you guys aren't going to try and put all of them in these two lines. But sometimes, if you've only got two, maybe three words, they do ask you to use the same word twice. So just be careful of that. Um, we shouldn't have any danger of trying to use them all tonight, though. So the number of waves per second is the frequency. And the maximum displacement of the wave is the, well, going back up here, it's that one there again. So that's going to be amplitude. Now, the next bit is my favourite bit. We've got some maths. I love this stuff. So um, we need to take the information from the questions. So we've got a time here and we've got a speed here. And they've very helpfully told us that distance travelled distance traveled, is the speed times the time. So we just need to write those numbers in. So that's going to be um, uh, 20 times 0.5. Now you're welcome to use a calculator in your physics exams of course, but you, you might recognise that 0.5 is a half, and a half times 20 is 10 metres. Don't forget your unit, sorry, 10 metres, 10 centimetres. Don't forget your unit, although it is given down here in this corner of the page that you can't quite see on the video. So that's going to be 10 on that line, and we're happy. Now, they've told us that the wave is travelling from here to here, in this question and that distance we've just worked out is 10 centimeters now if I count how many waves I've got I've got one wave two waves inside that 10 centimeters so each wave so that's going to be two waves inside my 10 so each wave must be five centimeters long okay I'm just going to flip over for the rest of the question and it says this time water waves are transverse waves. Give another example of a transverse wave. Well, I'm going to choose uh, E, M, radiation. Now you don't have to. You could be more specific. You could name one. So you could say light or you could maybe say microwaves or any of those. And then finally, it says sound waves are not transverse. What are they? Well, they must be the opposite then. So they must be long e -tuned. Now, okay, and there you go. I think I'm confident that that will get you nine marks on this exam question. Thank you very much.